that, that has politics written all over it. So they, they better come up with some brand new evidence that no one is aware of. If they didn't, then uh, I think Mr. Gascon has a lot of explaining to do. Evidence the DA's office says it didn't have until now, all leading to charges against an L.A. County Sheriff's Lieutenant just two days before time ran out. After a year, of the statute of limitations was almost up, but with only two days to go, the district attorney just filed battery and false imprisonment charges against an LASD lieutenant. Well, it came down to the wire, too, because the DA says somehow he didn't have all the video evidence from Beverly Hills PD. Senior reporter Ross Palumbo is here with a story that you'll see only on KCAL 9, Ross. Well, Pat and Juan, police say that Lieutenant battered a woman on the streets of Beverly Hill. Whatever happened was caught on camera and the video was actually used in the arrest. But the DA didn't at first file any charges. Tonight, though, he says that's because he didn't have all of the video from BHPD until now. Allegations of battery and false imprisonment. It's aggressive. You believe the officers were right to arrest him? Yes. Claims that the county sheriff covered it up. Wrongful conduct committed by the sheriff. And a refusal to release the video allegedly showing all of it. We could release it, but we have so a policy. So why won't you? It all began back on September 17, 2021, here at the famed Matsuisa restaurant in Beverly Hills. A police report obtained by CBS2 says LASD's newly promoted narcotics lieutenant, Howard Fuchs, got into a heated dispute here with a woman. As she leaves on foot, he allegedly gets into his white SUV and uses Find My iPhone to find her on the street. And when he does, Fuchs himself allegedly admits to police he grabbed the woman by her arm. Another woman driving by tells police she saw a man shove, tug the female from her upper body, but adds it was hard to see. And someone on the sidewalk also telling police he saw Fuse grab the woman aggressively all over and then back up away from her multiple times. He then points police to the traffic cameras above the scene. What did the camera show? She doesn't want to be touched. He's grabbing her and she's trying to walk away. Beverly Hills Police, though, were the first to see it. And their report also saying their sergeant who watched the video observed Fuchs aggressively grab her over the span of approximately 10 minutes. It's clearly aggressive, okay? There's no question that it's aggressive. BHPD believed it was enough to arrest and book Fuchs for battery. The report goes on to say Fuchs admitted he had been drinking alcohol and was in possession of a firearm. Did Fuchs commit a crime? Certainly there's enough for us to allege that, that, that a uh, misdemeanor domestic violence occurred. But back in January, an assistant DA declined to file charges in the case, pointing out that there were no injuries, claiming there was no weapon, and saying the victim did not want to prosecute. Was this the right decision? She was not given all the information that we have now. Then there was a lot of video that was not provided to her. You didn't have the video for nearly a year. The video that we have now, we didn't have. That's correct. And why is that? We still look into it. And we couldn't watch the video either. Items that are not on the agenda. Beverly Hills refused our repeated request to see that tape taken from a traffic camera on a public street. We are a city of transparency. Shouldn't the public be allowed to see what officers are doing on the streets of Beverly Hills through the cameras that they pay for? Well, again, you know, I I don't know the legal element of that. To discuss those legalities during our interview, she grabbed the city attorney. It is possible that you could release it legally. Yes, we could. But the city still has chosen not to release it. It can, can be withheld. It can be. Can be withheld. But it doesn't have to be. That's true. So why doesn't Beverly Hills, in the interest of transparency, release it? We have a policy not to release any, and in this case, um, because of privacy of the victim. We're just asking for the portions that do not contain the victim. Yeah, and, and again, we have, a pol we have a policy for many reasons, mm -hmm. um, and our policy is not to release a video that is 
part of the investigation. Sources say LASD did receive a copy of the video, but it's unclear who actually saw it. Fuchs was initially suspended from duty. It's, it's one of one of a number of, of incidents that she blew the whistle on. But former assistant sheriff Robin Lamone is now claiming in a lawsuit that despite the allegations of domestic violence and drinking alcohol with his firearm on him, that she was forced to reinstate Fuchs without a proper internal affairs investigation. And the sheriff orders him back to work. Afterwards, Lamone was demoted several ranks. Her attorney believes the Fuchs case was part of the reason and believes it was vaguely referred to here in this LASD document saying she was insubordinate and made false statements. She was not providing the accurate information to the undersheriff and to myself and there was a big discrepancy in what she told us and what she was telling her subordinates. So is that one of the reasons she was demoted? Yes. Have you seen the video in the Fuchs case? No. What happens to your client? And my client gets railroaded, she gets smeared, she gets framed. She has her career destroyed. Now her attorney also wants to see the video that the district attorney himself only just now got. Beverly Hills Police Department should release it so they're not being accused of being part of a cover-up. Do you believe in this case there was some sort of cover-up? It's concerning to us uh, the, the video wasn't presented immediately. It's concerning to us that, you know, the incident occurred in September, but the case is not presented until January. Are you investigating to see if there was possibly well, a cover-up or know, some I, influence put we, on Beverly we, Hills Police? We, we want to get, get more information on it. I, I don't want to imply that there was any inappropriateness, uh, but I want to look into it a little more. The um, DA never got the video. Do you I think there was none. a cover-up there? Remember, this is Beverly Hills PD. We did not do the investigation. We did nothing. Well, tonight, the Beverly Hills police chief tells me that they did do everything they were supposed to. He says he's certain that all of the video was sent to the DA's office months ago. He says they were sent in links, though, and those links do eventually expire. The DA's office hasn't changed its position in light of all of that. As for Lieutenant Fuchs himself, LASD just got off the phone with me a little while ago and says that he has temporarily been relieved of duty pending the outcome of all of this. Juan and Pat.